to effectively navigate your way around the Play workspace, it's helpful for you to know that there are three main workspace components. Tabs, General Tasks, and Regions. There are two tabs that control the overall functionality in the Play system, Search and Lists. When you first log into a new Play session, you begin by default on the Search tab. The Search tab will switch to a different view designed to help you find music in a familiar, easy-to-use layout. The List tab is where you can create, edit, or find playlists, pitches, and save searches. You can identify the Active tab by looking for the Forward tab at the top of the workspace. It will appear in front of the Inactive tabs, which will be receded and darker in shade. No matter where you are in the system, general tasks are available to you at any time. General tasks appear to the right of the tabs at the top of the Play workspace. General tasks allow you to search specifically for new releases, start a new search, save your current search, adjust your preferences, get system help, or log out of the system. Regions are the general areas of core functionality in the Play system. There are four main regions, the left region or browse, the center region or contents, the bottom region or the player, and the right region or lists. The left or browse region is designed to help you search through our vast catalog by navigating through our extensive selections of culturally and musically descriptive attribute groups. The center or content region is where you will navigate and manipulate the results of your searches or the contents of your playlists. The bottom or player region allows you to play and manipulate music you have selected in the content region. The right or list region is where you can search for, view, edit, create or manipulate playlists, pictures or save searches. To help you understand how to take advantage of the features of your Play workspace, let's review a few of Play's basic objects. Rollups, drawers, edits, clouds and filters. Rollups, represented by an orange triangle icon, are designed to help you save space or hide features that you do not use frequently. Click the orange triangle to hide or expand the desired section. Drawers, represented by a double triangle tab, allow you to tuck in or roll out regions to allow more or less screen space. Edits, represented by a pencil icon, allow you to edit the data representing a list, pitch or saved search. Tag clouds are clouds presenting clickable search words designed to help you fine-tune your search results. Word size is animated to represent the relative number of matches returned when you click on any word. Hover over a word to see the number of matching search results. A large word will show you a large number of search results matching that word. Search clouds are clouds that allow you to search a specific attribute and only that attribute for relevant results. For instance, by clicking Title in the left or Browse region, you'll see a search cloud appear where you can type a free text search for a track title. Only results that match that track title will be returned. Filters are activated whenever you click on a term in a tag cloud or type in a specific search in a search cloud. They indicate what search terms are being filtered and even allow you to remove results you don't want to see. You can add or remove filters in any order and at any time. Data clouds present data to you about a specific element in the Play workspace. In the right region, for instance, hovering over a playlist will present a data cloud that gives you basic details on that playlist. This is a quick and simple way to browse the detail of lists without having to open them. This concludes the layout and user interface video. The next lesson is a deeper dive into Play's general tasks.